What is up guys? Albert here and I am back with a brand new video and school is back in session. I don't know when you guys started your class. It could be last month, it could be a few days ago, or maybe you're like me and classes doesn't start until August. But anyways, today I want to tackle a video which is catered for you guys who are in senior high school or maybe you're just starting off senior high school. So I just finished senior high a couple months ago and it was a great experience and I learned a lot of things and I want to share with you guys the stuff that I learned through my time in senior high so that you will be able to do your best and make the most out of your senior high school days and without any further ado let's get on to the video here are my 10 tips for senior high school students and number one is be prepared actually you can use this not only in senior high but you can also use it for high school make sure that you have all of the necessary things that you need mapa one four sheet of paper yan yellow pad or whatever make sure na lahat ng kailangan nyo meron na kayo kasi ayaw nyo maghagulgol yan pag nagsimula ng classes now isang bagay na people might not realize na kailangan nila pero kailangan nyo talaga to ay index card. Make sure na prepared lang kayo no na kailangan nyo ng index card kasi lahat ng teachers nyo most likely hihingan kayo. Other stuff like papel and notebook given na yun. We all need those things to go through senior high school. There are still some schools out there who are traditional in their ways and requires you to write stuff on your notebook and just be prepared for those types of teachers. Make sure na alam nyo na beforehand whether they will be needing a notebook in your class which in either cases just have a notebook with you a binder is not that expensive okay now for number two this is one tip that is very dear to my heart and that's maintain relationships with both the students and staff first of all this is going to make your stay in senior high much more enjoyable ayun yun naman na may kaaway kayo and mas madali ang buhay kapag ka close mo yung mga tao na sa paligid mo now, this has to be intentional though, wag naman plastikan, pero know na if you maintain good relationships, you are often given better opportunities for the future and also, it can build your group of network para pag alis nyo ng senior high or whatever. You will have a group of people to come back to, to talk to, and will just make your life easier. And I tell you, and I kid you not, this is a very important thing because sobrang halagang networking in any stages of life you will need people to get out there in the world walang kwenta ang pagiging valedictorian mo if wala kang kilala kasi sa panahon natin ngayon referral basis is more effective than just job hunting wherever and whenever so that is my tip number two as for my tip number three we have failing is not the end of the world keep moving forward you are going to fail you're gonna feel pressure and grab yung pressure and frustration that you might feel in your senior high school but you will realize after you graduate or after you you get through this difficult patch in your life in senior high na bakit ka nag-spend ng sobrang time pondering and being anxious sa bagay na to when in reality you should have just been having fun and it would be have been easier sometimes we just have to let loose and just don't let frustration get ahead of us sometimes being chill being happy being content is much more important in moving forward not just in senior high but in any area of your life don't let frustrations and pressure bring you down no don't do that you're just going to hurt yourself you're just gonna feel depressed you're just gonna feel like you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel like ano hindi ko kaya to hindi ko kaya to mahirap to mag 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 drop na lang ako or whatever hindi naman siguro ganun ka intense pero it's important to know na failure is not the end of the world you can make it through that and when you do make it through that remember that it's just a storm that will pass and once that storm passes you're back to a bright and sunny day and there's a rainbow out in the sky pero anyways um just remember that failure is not the end of the world. As for name number four, don't be afraid to take opportunities. Now, these opportunities that you're going to take, make sure na in line siya with what you want to do in the future. Is this going to help you move forward in your craft? Is this going to help you meet new people who can push you forward in the area that you're taking in your life? 
make sure to take those opportunities. Make sure that you assess yourself and yung mga opportunities na pwede mo kunin, kunin mo na kasi it's going to help you in the long run. For example, may it be leadership or seminars or whatever. Take it because those are the things that are going to stick with you through and throughout. And it can also help you. Siguro magkaka-job application ka or maybe college applications. You can put there the seminars that you attended. You can put there the achievements that you did. You can put there the leadership stuff that you did and all of these projects and it will all build up to your repertoire which will give you a better footstool, a better stand when you're going to be entering college. And number five, pace yourself. Don't burn yourself out. Know what you can and what you can't do and don't take up anything more than what you can. And it's just gonna make your life easier, promise. Before in high school, I would take up as much contest as I could. I would join every organization that I could. Then over time, I realized na, why? Una, ubus oras mo. Second, it's not going to bring you to places where you want to be. And third, it's just, you could be spending that time improving yourself in other areas which you might actually benefit from in the future. Just pace yourself. Um, know what you can do. And dahan-dahan ka lang, you'll get there. Don't burn yourself out. Huwag mo isipin na porkit maraming assignment na binigay sa'yo na super hirap na no. Do time management, do discipline, and everything's going to work out. So pace yourself properly. Don't burn yourself out. Don't go too slow. Just keep building up that momentum and that's going to help push yourself and make you more disciplined, make you more active, make you more motivated to keep going through in every stages of your senior high school days. So that's my tip number five. And number six, build yourself up. Build yourself up. Continue building yourself up. You are a tower. You are a beautiful portrait. You are a big painting and you just have to keep adding those colors in your life and keep pushing yourself forward so that in the end you'll be closer to achieving your goal you'll be closer to achieving that bigger picture maraming tao sinasabi na senior high dagdag dalawang taon lang yan walang kwento sana nag college niya lang ako and all and all of these things pero i want to tell you guys that senior high school is actually a good place to build yourself up those extra two years could be used on building your repertoire that you can use when you go to college. Now, I was scholar ako ng Mint and to get that scholarship, I had to pass a portfolio with all of the stuff that I made, pictures, videos that I've edited, um, articles that I wrote. And I want to tell you that if I didn't have that extra two years in senior high school, I don't know where I would be in college. I don't know where I would be studying right now kasi seryoso yun. If you don't take this time to build yourself up and preparing yourself for the future, hindi mo alam kung saan ka mapupunta. You don't know where you're going to be. You're going to be blinded with what you want in the future. So take this two years. Take it slow. Take the time to just understand and just realize and just reflect on where you want to be, where you want to study, what you need to get to that place you want to study and um, build up your repertoire, your um, the stuff that you need for scholarships and all of these things and just building up the skills that you need so that when you get college, you know that you are well equipped, you are empowered, you are set in stone on the things that you need so that college will not be a hassle, college will not be a blind guess, but it will be a road to fuel your passions and to help you build yourself. Which is why I want you guys to take this time to build yourself. Don't think of these two years as walang kwenta lang. Take, know that these two years is a very good opportunity for you to build yourself up for college. So amen to that guys. So good. Um, number seven. Number seven is self-studying is more efficient than studying in class. I couldn't stress this enough. I learned more things when I study by myself kaysa sa pag nag-aaral ka sa classroom. Kasi to be honest, depending on the school you are, this is not to step upon the teachers. May mga teachers kasi that they are not really in the heart to teach. Or maybe they're just bagong teachers pa lang. And I'm not discrediting anyone, I promise. Pero there are just those few na bilang na 
mapapaisip ka na lang na ano na tututunan mo. And I have teachers who are really passionate in what they are doing, but there are just those few people who doesn't really care that much. And when you self-study and you have that passion in your heart, you're going to retain things more, you're going to understand things more, and you're going to see things in a bigger picture. Because there are some teachers who are just book-based and just read one by one, lesson by lesson. But what if you look beyond the topics, beyond the books, beyond the things that you see in class, you're going to realize that these things are actually bigger and much better and much super grabe yung pagkaganda ng mga topics na ito lalo na sa mga let's say science, behavioral psychology and so many other things you can be learning more siguro na programming ka gusto sabihin sa'yo na mas marami ka pang matututunan pag sa self-study ka seryoso yun and I, so I want to impart you guys na mag self-study kayo keep studying, keep learning cause life is learning is life's greatest gift so yun, I just want you guys to know that. For my next tip, it's don't compromise your integrity. Marami kang maririnig sa paligid mo. Marami kang maririnig sa mga tao na sa tabi mo. Pero sa dulo, ikaw lang makakakilala sa sarili mo. Gusto ko pa alam yun sa inyo. If you're going to let other people dictate who you are, if you're gonna let other people dictate your morals, then sino ka pa ba talaga? You know who you are. You know where you're set in. Yes, means I'm here. Yes, means I'm frustrating. Yes, means that and then you pressure people around you. But I want you to know, na sa dulo ng lahat, ikaw lang talaga mapagsabi sa sarili mo. You know what you believe in. You know what you stand for. And I want to tell you guys, you don't compromise your integrity. If I compromise my integrity, di ko lang kung ano yung mga tao na napapalibutan na ako. Di ko, di ko siya nasabi na wag kayo makisalamuha sa mga classmates nyo na alam nyo na may mga masasamang bisyo. But I'm telling you na regardless of anything, you should know what you believe in and hindi kayo magbabago. Kasi you know what you believe in. Hindi naman sa pagiging corny, pero you know what's beneficial for you. And you know what's going to help you and help you improve in life. Kaya huwag nyo hayaan yung mga tao na sa paligid nyo. Hindi dikta kung sino kayo. Know who you are and be integral. That's a number. Basta mag- just, know your, just stand firm in your integrity. And number nine, be confident. Sobra important ng confidence. Con- confidence shows that you have conviction in what you're saying and you know what you're saying. And people will believe you more and people will understand that you know what you are doing. And because people know that you know what you're doing, you are going to be chosen in un- many different opportunities because you they know that you are capable. Be confident and be real with yourself. Know what you can and what you can't do. Remember that. But be confident. Be confident and know what you can say and know what you should say. It's not gonna be easy, I can tell you that. But it's a process. You have to build it up, you have to train it. Confidence is a training process. You need to have self-esteem. You need to know who you are. You need to know what you can do. You need to know what you are capable of. And just have confidence in yourself. Because alam mo naman, sarili mo, kaya mo talaga eh. Kaya mo yan, I believe in you. You should believe in yourself. Once na inaway mo sarili mo, you stop believing in yourself, that is the moment people are gonna start stepping down on you and looking down on you. So be confident. Last but not the least, have fun. These are two years which you are never going to take back. So make the most out of it. It's not that hard as they make it out to be. Minsan yung pressure nakaka-blind lang eh. Feeling natin mahirap dahil nakaka-frustrate, hindi ba? Pero hindi. We just need to have the right motives, the right perspectives, do the right things, and everything is going to fit into place. I trust in you guys. I believe in you guys. I have faith that you will be great dito sa senior high. You will be stewards of faith. You will do good things, and you will influence other people. May you influence other people. And with that, I want to tell you guys na... This is the end of the video. If you like this video and you want to sh- know more, learn more, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to let me know that you like this video. Nandito ako para sa inyo guys. Naniniwala ako na kaya niyo to. And once again, ako si Albert Jared, si Ibai. Like, subscribe, share, or do whatever. Dislike if you don't like this video. That's it for this video. And I just want to bid you all a happy 2019 to 2020. So with that, this is farewell. But this is not goodbye. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Love you. 3000.